This short lesson aims to show you the nifty Pathfinder function in InDesign. If you don't know it's there or what it does, just watch this quick demonstration. First, let's find the Pathfinder panel. It is in the Window menu under Object and Layout. You can see it's divided into four sections. The first section has to do with lines that you've drawn with a pen or a pencil tool. The last section has to do with shapes that you've drawn that have corners. The convert shape is an amusing function. I'm not sure how useful it is, but I'll show you how it works. I'll just draw a shape and convert it to other shapes. Interesting but not what we're learning today. Today we're going to stick to the Pathfinder buttons. I've drawn six pairs of objects. We're going to keep this top left one as our reference and change the others and make them into compound shapes. So the way you always do it is to select both shapes and then click one of the buttons. We'll start with the first one, which is called the Add button. This is going to add the two shapes together and make them into one. The color of the front object is always adopted for the whole shape. The second one we're going to try is the subtract button. The front object is going to be subtracted out of the back one. Now this one can be very useful. I'll show you how. I'm going to put the front object in the middle and click the subtract button. Now this is not just a white ellipse. This is actually a hole. Sometimes you actually need to have an object with a hole in it with something showing through from behind. It might be good for a fancy kind of a frame or who knows what else. Let's try the third button here. This is called Intersect. It's going to keep all the parts that overlap. I'll show you that again. Keeps the parts that overlap. All right. Now this one is called Exclude Overlap. So it's going to do exactly the opposite of what the previous one did. And sure enough, that white area is an actual hole. So you might find a use for that. Now we'll try the last Pathfinder type of button, and it's called minus back. And that's what it does. Minus back. So I've shown you how you can make a hole using the subtract button. Now what about the add button? That can also actually be very useful. I'll show you how as one example. Sometimes I need to draw a thought cloud for a character in a book. There are two ways I can do it. I can take the pencil tool and try to draw a little cloud. I am not very good at drawing and my cloud looks not very impressive. A Charlie Brown kind of a cloud. The way I prefer to do it is using the Pathfinder and making a compound shape. I make a bunch of ellipses all overlapping. Different shapes of ellipses and I kind of try to make it into a cloud basic lumpy shape. And then in the middle I make sure that's covered with another ellipse. Now this would make a really terrible thought cloud the way it is now, but I'm going to click the add button. And that is not too bad. It does look cloudy. So that's something. 
because it is kind of amusing to do this, I don't mind doing it again a few times just to get it just right. Now you can see the Pathfinder tool might be pretty useful sometimes in InDesign, but if you were to go into Adobe Illustrator, you would find that the Pathfinder there is much more robust. I've made a screenshot of the Pathfinder panel from Illustrator, and the four shape modes they show are the ones that we just tried um, in InDesign. The ones that they call Pathfinders have much better functions. They do more intricate kinds of combining of shapes. So what I did in Illustrator was I took a rectangle and an ellipse and I combined them using one of these Pathfinder tools. And now look at this. They are three separate shapes. You definitely cannot do that in InDesign. I love to do this. It is one of my favorite art styles. And so I like to pretend that I am a famous artist and I can combine colors to my heart's content. Now, one interesting thing is that you can go into Illustrator and draw something like this and simply copy it, go back to InDesign and paste it in place. You don't have to make an EPS file or anything like that. Just simply copy from one and paste into the other. So there you have it the Adobe Pathfinder function in both InDesign and Illustrator.